Hi friends of Open Studio Project. I'm Sarah Lang and I'm here today um, in front of our storefront um, just to um, reach out to all of you and know that we're thinking of you during these um, challenging times. Um, I wanted to just let, um, we, you know, one of the things that we're really missing is just seeing the buzz and energy of all of our artists um, that come in and out of here every day, but we do know that you're all out there and um, do know that I've been incredibly impressed with all of the families and individuals we've seen out there making so much art during this time. Um, so we're happy to see that and we're also very grateful to be able to give this opportunity to connect with you online and we're going to be um, trying to do that um, even more so in the coming weeks. Uh, remember that our mission at Open Studio is to use the arts for personal growth, social emotional intelligence, and community well-being. And I couldn't be more impressed with how much I'm seeing of that this week. Um, so despite it being a really challenging time for nonprofits like ourselves, um, please know that you can be reassured that we have a really strong leadership team board and finance committee that are working to um, help us get through this tough time. We're all working virtually behind the scenes just as we speak. Um, so please note that as of Tuesday, March 17th, we did um, close all of our studio programs. We were certainly impacted by all the school closures. Um, we've done a deep clean sanitation in the studio and our plan is to resume classes on April 28th. Our school-based classes will resume once we know what's happening with all of them. Um, so I wanted to just reach out and let you know a few ways that you connect, can connect with us here in Evanston. Um, if you're walking by, you can um, come by and pick up one of our new brochures right here. We have a new one um, that gives you kind of high level all about the studio. Um, we're also really working hard on um, filling our summer camps right now. So we have this brochure, which is for the, the um, camps that are going to be here at 903 Sherman. Um, and we also have a new brochure for camps that we're going to be offering over at the Robert Crown facility. Um, so please come by and pick those up. Um, we're going to be um, shooting some new video footage. Um, you'll get to do what are called um, art jams with Jan. Um, we'll post that as soon as we can after this video. Um, Ted Harris is going to be doing um, an online um, art and wellness class through Zoom, which you'll be able to get by um, reaching out via email. Um, and Dana's going to be doing some um, witness exercises around witnessing COVID-19. Um, I wanted to just walk you through our gallery real quick. Um, we have this fabulous exhibit up called School Pictures by Melissa Ann Peeney. Um, this is really quite a um, telling exhibit given the moment um, in time we're living right now. Um, we didn't even know that we'd be experiencing prior this um, social school distancing um, when we launched this show, but I did want to just point out um, how beautiful these photographs are and how they really do showcase um, what it means for children to be in school together and jumping outside, hanging out outside. Um, but this exhibit is available online. You can access it either through our um, um, website, our social media platforms as well as on the artist website. It's Melissa and Peeny School Pictures. One of the things we've been doing here um, during the course of this is we've actually been helping out um, uh, Evanston Stitchworks across the street with making um, fabric masks for the healthcare workers. We've been distributing some of our supplies here to help those makers and getting it to healthcare facilities. Um, I wanted to point out, again, those of you who've taken classes here before know about our intention wall, and I can't reiterate enough how um, this is a practice that you can continue at home. You can combine intention, art, and witnessing. Um, and I did post yesterday, we have um, new notebooks available um, through threadless.com. Um, it's called the Open Studio Projects Artist Shop, and you can purchase an Open Studio notebook to do with your artwork at home. Again, in terms of some other news, um, we are going to be um, launching our new studio space at Crown. It's closed right now, but starting the week of April 14th, we'll be offering two adult and two children's classes there. Um, you can actually register for those programs through the City of Evanston website. Um, for those of you all over the place, we, in lieu of doing Artopia here in Evanston this year on April 18th at 7 o'clock, we were originally going to host that um, at the Levy Center here in Evanston, but we have decided to um, change that a little bit given the circumstances. So we will be actually um, hosting Artopia same time, April 18th, 17th, 
p.m. but we're going to shoot it virtually from here at the studio. It's going to be really exciting. We'll have some live music and live painting going on and um, we'll have some other, um, we'll still be able to showcase the entire program um, to you online and we do feel it's actually an opportunity to reach all of you um, both across the nation and internationally who've had contact with Open Studio over the years. So um, rather than just having that here in Evanston, we're, we're kind of excited to be able to reach a broader audience. Um, finally, just remember that Open Studio is here to be a resource for you. We know that it's a place that really values the arts for mental health and well-being. Um, we really do believe in making art um, as much as possible during this time. Um, in order to do that, um, to continue that level of community connection with us, please do visit, um, check our um, emails that are going to be coming out to you as well as the social media accounts. So take care of yourselves, stay safe, and be sure to create. Thanks. Have a good day.